Do you agree with the principle that if an owner, and let's face it, owning a horse is a very expensive business these days, but if you think, well, this horse is a value, and if I'm stuck and I need to sell it, then I can sell the horse for meat rather than just going to some random field and dumping the horse, that's a better option. I don't think it is a better option. We need what, to intrinsically ed option, educate people about caring for animals and about caring for responsible um, ownership of uh, companion animals, like horses, dogs. And um, it's not actually an intrinsic value to say, OK, let's recycle that animal now, it has a use, uh, let's grind it up into meat. And actually, the, the welfare standards that you mentioned, a very, very small percentage of meat uh, in the UK is organic and, and uh, high welfare. The vast, vast majority is actually really factory farmed and is not actually uh, high standard at all. So we believe that none of the But we're also talking about the increase in population. Is, is that right, Mark? No, it's it, the, there was that thing of the intensive factory farming of chickens and all that kind of stuff, but these things are moving away and it's public opinion that will change those things. Uh, you vote with your pounds and you vote with your feet. If you go into somewhere and you buy intensively battery farmed chickens, they're going to produce them. If you decide not to spend your money on those things and go and buy the responsibly reared, the sustainable, the ones with the, with the red tractor on, then they're going to produce more of those. But it's, it's not, not, it's not it's about actually, one or the other. It's not actually happening. And what we actually do see is that there's more interest in plant-based living as a result of the horse meat scandal. People have actually taken up a lot of the vegan diet. I don't uh, believe diet. that for a second. That Everybody I spoke to said that yes. they were more annoyed that they were lied to about what was in the burger yeah. That it wasn't on the label, not what was in it. If they'd have put four horse meat burgers in a box and stuck it in a supermarket, people would buy them. Well, we we found that uh, we got the opposite response. That people were actually called to find out about. But if you're only asking vegans, you're going no, to get that response. These, these were people <laughs> who had been eating meat and actually found out and actually came to us to say, "I want to do something differently. I don't need to eat meat. I feel like okay. actually I want to change this."